Coach Chris, so you're at Legit Wrestling School. This is uh, mainly for people. I'm going to bullet. Firstly, I'm going to be putting this out on, onto our group for our um, affiliates. You know, people that are working with me online. A lot of you are coming to our bi-monthly camps, and we also have camps now running in the Midlands. Steve Gorilla's been setting those up, and we're going to be going further afield down south. But this is just to show you something about the the rule set. Yeah, obviously at Legit Preston School. We're, we're catch wrestling based, but we do many other other grappling arts. And when we have competitions, we did different rule sets. We did 20 minute match, did three 12 minutes, we did, uh, where you win by pin or submission in the 20. Uh, when it's a three, three 12, it's best of three falls. So you've got to win at least twice to win the match or win once and then there's two draws. Um, we also do the, the warrior rule set where it's better uh, three fives, where pin or submission counts as a point. Or we've did best of three with three five. There's so many different rule sets. You know, I like that. I like the fact that you have to win in order to win. There's no points. When we're when we're doing it with juniors, we're having riding time just as a uh, folk style used to use. So the guy that's on top for the longest will win. That's another way we could do it to decide when we have competitions like championships because you do have to have a winner. I remember going three twelve with Nick Kajia in the semi final of a world, so we both had to get eliminated. It's uh, it's not ideal for people that are coming to watch and that are coming to compete. So what I thought, you know, obviously in grappling, everyone's using EBI overtime now, Eddie Bravo overtime. That's re it's really good for that rule set. See you, mate. It's really, really good for that rule set. We are, we are having some sub-only matches on our next event for the simple reason to attract people from other rule sets, mostly jiu-jitsu. There's people that are kind of reluctant to uh, uh, compete under catch rules. Um, and this is going to give them the opportunity to see catch wrestlers. We're going to have some good catch matches on too. But rather than doing an EBI overtime, I don't like, I'm not really a big fan of that. Um, I'm going to change it because I want to see people's wrestling. I don't like people butt scooting on the ground, but if they want to do that in sub only, it's up to them. But the other person doesn't have to engage. And if, if Danny's on his, sat on his ass like this, from, I don't have to go in any near DCC. See, if I take a step back, I get marked down. For me, that's bullshit. Let the man come up and fight. If he's down there, that's okay. Remember Brendan Shaw against Cyborg? So if Danny's chasing me about on his ass, he's scared to wrestle, and I just mess about and disengage and push him off or whatever for 10 minutes or whatever the match is, then it goes to LPW overtime. What's legit for wrestling overtime? It's exactly this. Two positions you can choose from. Number one position is high defense. Danny's going to go high defense. So look, one guy's going to start here with the hands on the back. When the referee blows the whistle, it's on. Submission, any submission, or a three second pin. So we're going to be like, boom, straight to it. Yeah, we get three rounds of that. But if I get a pin or a submission, he doesn't have one. If it carries on, it goes by who gets out the quickest. Does that make sense? That's position number one that you can choose. We also have position number two. Position number two, we stand. Is Danny, he's on my legs, he's on my double. He's, yeah, he's gotta be on his feet. His feet have to be touching the floor. My hands are gonna be here on his back. Referee's gonna blow the whistle, bang! It's straight on. Again, he's looking for, he's looking for a pin or a submission. I'm looking to get out or I'm looking to submit him, yeah? Or, or pin him, it's a scramble, or it's a scramble, yeah? So this is gonna show what? It's gonna show that you can wrestle standing and defend standing, and that you can wrestle and defend on the ground. So this is the rule set. This is the legit pro wrestling overtime period. This is how it's gonna look. So we're just gonna have a little demo of it now. So Darren, you're gonna come down to high defense. You're gonna have your hands on his back. I don't have my whistle with me, so I'm gonna shout go, hands on his back. When I say go, you're trying to Submit opinion, you're trying to get out. Go! One, two, three. Yeah, good. Because how many seconds that was, we'll go back to so Danny's down. I'll just guess the bit there. Have your hand on his back, uh, Darren. Go! Yeah, very good. So obviously, Danny got out quicker. But we're gonna have 
three more, three more goes, yeah. So Darren's down again. Danny comes from the other side. Go! One, two, three. Actually, you got the pin the last time, so you would have won, didn't you? You would have won already. But, uh, so now, Danny's down. Go! I'm sure more would happen in the one pin out of submission. We keep going again and go by time. Come on, keep working, boys. said Danny would have won anyhow because he got the uh, he got the pin and he was out quicker too but this is good it's going to force people to actually wrestle and they're going to look for the submission rather than just starting off from the armlock position or from being on the back they're going to have to work to get there so now look um, Darren is going to get on Danny's double leg this is the other position going to get on Danny's double both they have to be down Danny your hands are going to be on Darren's back yeah when I say go, you can submit, you can get out, you can take it down, clean off some So get your arms around his legs, Darren. Go! One, two, three, brilliant. <laughs> See that? That'd be very, very hard to stop. So if you win the coin toss, you're gonna wanna go for that. I have no doubt, yeah? But then that'd mean that he'd go first. The person who wins the coin toss, they choose. That's fucking brilliant. So now you're on his leg. Go! Holy fuck that. <laughs> good. So if you didn't go onto your back, you'd have probably you'd have had a good chance of uh, getting out there, but that was good. And good fighting out by you as well, Danny. Brilliant. Shake hand boys. Thanks for demonstrating. They've just been through a, a very tough session already. <laughs> So then, what do you think of um, the LPW overtime period? Personally, I fucking love it. I think it's brilliant. It's going to force the action. We'll put it at the end of our submission-only matches when it's in a tournament. We'll also put it at the end of our matches, our catch wrestler matches, when it's in a tournament or if it's in a championship match. So I'm very happy with it. Let me know what you think.